This is a homicide investigation and Michaela is known as a suspect. Jonathan was 18 years old. Everybody loved him and he was a very outgoing, very happy person. He could walk in a room with a smile and bright up the whole room. The day before Jonathan passed away, Michaela snuck into his bedroom. They had an argument and I feel that she laced my son marijuana with something because he was fine with fentanyl in his system. The day that my son passed, I am the one that found my son's body. When I saw him lying there, all I could do is just drop to my knees and just hold him and just ask him to just hold on. Mommy's here, I'm, I'm gonna try to save you. The autopsy said that he passed away from fentanyl. He just passed and Michaela was laughing like it was a joke. Like, in a way, she was looking like she couldn't believe it. But then, in a way, it was like, I was looking at her like she just thought it was a joke. And I asked him, like, what is funny? My son is not here no more. <laughs> he didn't deserve this. He had more life to live. Michaela is cold-hearted and a liar because she faked a pregnancy she even faked giving birth to my son, baby. The first day I met Michaela, face to face, when I picked her and my son up from the train station, my son told me that she was pregnant. And I looked at him like, she can't be pregnant. She's only like 90 pounds. And it was one time that I was helping her move into her place. And I went to go try to touch her belly. That's supposed to be my grandchild. And she pulled back. And she told me, no, don't touch my stomach. And I said, why, that's my grandbaby. And she said, no, you may wake her. It make me feel irritated. For nine months, her stomach got bigger. She gave me documentation of papers and ultrasounds stating that she was pregnant. She even complained about stomach pains. I let her be a part of my son's memorial. I even let her sing at the funeral. I put this baby that don't even exist in the obituary. I started hearing rumors about Michaela not really being pregnant, and I defended her. One day, Michaela had the nerve to call me and tell me that they were gonna induce her labor. A few hours later, she come calling me talking about she had this baby girl. sent me a picture with a hospital wristband holding a baby and sent me this picture of this child. And I was so excited, I sent it to my family. And every time I wanted to see the baby that was supposed to be my grandchild, she kept making up these excuses. I was getting upset to the point where Michaela said that, fine, I'll video chat you with the baby so you can see your grandchild. But then I just noticed that every time she video chat me, the baby would never move, never make a sound. And I even brought it to her attention, like, what's wrong with her? Why she never moving? And she got an attitude and hung up on me and texted me later on that day and said, she don't appreciate me questioning her about her baby. And for six months, she just kept on telling us like she had a baby for me to continuously believe it. One day I get a call from some nice young ladies. They told me, your son never had a baby by Michaela. Then I said, what do you mean? It's just a joke. So they said, we could three-way call her. I said, okay, we'll do that. They three-way called Michaela, and she did not know I was on the phone. They asked her, which they were supposed to be playing a little prank, acting like they was a social worker. And they asked Michaela, do you still want me to go through with this? social worker um, thing with Johnny mom. And she just started cussing, saying, yeah, I don't care about that. And once I heard that, I said, Michaela, are you serious? I mean, after everything I did for you, I can't bring my son back. And you do this to me. I broke down. The girls that came out and told me, they apologized because they didn't want nothing heavy on their heart still 
in my mind didn't want to believe it, but after seeing all them pictures and starting to realize that it wasn't a real baby. For almost a year and a half, Michaela lied about the pregnancy, the fake belly, the ultrasounds, the hospital documents, everything. Even the baby was fake, and I just couldn't believe it. It was just a dial. I later found out that she even did this before to someone else, where actually found the fake belly and put her out her house. This is not just the only horrible thing that Michaela have done. She even tased my son. She hit my son. I told Michaela that I was through with her. I was completely done. And she told me that she would do anything and everything just to see my son. Where it came down to, she even tried to break into my house to take his ashes two times, not just one. Michaela is a very evil person, inside and out. I know that she has to be involved in my son's death. If she's evil enough to fake a pregnancy and birth, she's evil enough to cause someone's death. How long were you and Jonathan together? Um, January to June 9th to when he passed away. So six months? Yes. Short amount of time. Not a real long-term relationship, but you had that much of a connection that you wanted to yeah. do. Yeah. Um, okay, so you were pregnant. Yes. But you, you miscarried. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then you, you tell the mother, hey, I'm still pregnant. Yes, and that was very wrong. Was Jonathan still alive when you miscarried? Yes. Did you tell him? Yes. And you don't think he would have told his mother? I don't. He didn't really talk to her about a lot of things, so he just kind of kept a lot of stuff to himself. Yeah, but she knew you were pregnant. She knew I was pregnant at first, but I had the miscarriage, and we just I just kept the lie going. I did. How long did you fake the pregnancy? For seven months. Uh, and then you even went and got an, an ultrasound. Yeah. How'd you, how'd you get an ultrasound? I went online, and I looked up fake ultrasounds with my name on it and I just kind of edited it out and I sent it to her. Did you tell her what the sex of the baby was? Yes, I told her it was a girl. How did you have a belly? Because you were showing her pictures of your belly, right? I made it. How'd you make it? I um, got cotton balls and kind of just put it around. And... and so you'd make it bigger each month? Yes. At any time when you were doing this, did you think, I'm crazy? Yes. Did you go to the hospital to do the fake delivery? Yes. How'd you do that? She was supposed to take me to the hospital, so she ended up taking me. Tina? Yes. And I waited till she left after she dropped me off, got the gown, and waited till she left and got an Uber home. Um, Mom, we have pictures of you and a baby video chatting with Tina, right? Yes. Where'd you get the baby from? I looked up fake babies online. I just, it was, like, they could go from $3,000 to 400 and I got the cheapest one. The $400, like, yeah. baby? Did it look real? Yes. Uh, I mean, for a $400 baby, it's not bad. Now, why did you recruit other women into this plan? Well, they already knew about the situation. You and, told them? Yes, I These told them. These were friends of yours? Yes, but they also bullied me in the past. They bullied you? Yes. We ended what? up being back cool, and... I told them that I wanted to actually sit down and talk to Tina about it and tell her the truth. But instead of them letting me sit down and talk to her about it and telling her the truth, they did the three-way call and... They exposed you. Yeah. You are an evil person, and you know you are. Not just you did bad things to my son, put him through things. It was like two deaths that I had. You had me thinking I had a grandchild. Not just that you took my son away, you took that baby that wasn't even a baby away from me. I thought it was a piece of him out here still. And you're wrong. You're ugly inside and out. And if you could fake a baby, we'll make you think that you're not capable of killing somebody.
You lace my son, black and mild, to the point where you put him out of your apartment. He passed out, and you left him out there in the hallway. Thank God that he woke back up. You used to take things from him. You tased him. You cheated on him. You did a lot of horrible things to him, and he really did love you. And I got attached to you because I thought that you were having my grandchild. I am confused. How are you the victim? I'm the victim because I got bullied on about the situation. She posted me everywhere on Facebook. And she brought up a good point that I didn't even think about it. She loses her son. You give her false hope that he's living on through a baby. So she experiences two deaths. I was wrong for that. I was wrong. You were wrong for everything. Listen, I was very wrong for that. The baby, si just the baby situation. Everything. You treated just the my baby son situation. Like we both put him through. I'm his mother. Who are you? you the Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come on. Now listen. Now listen. Steve, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now listen. I want to say this. All right. Mm -hmm. I never met your son before in my life. You know what I'm saying? I've heard nothing but good things about your son. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm so sorry for your loss. And, and I, I know that must that. be hard for you. Yes, it but is. But I do, with me knowing her, I met her um, in 2023 of March 26th, and I've never, like, as long as I've known her, Not I don't so think that she'll even be capable of doing something like that. Of hurting capable somebody. Capable of what? Of killing someone. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Now, you seem like a very polite young yeah. man. You came out. You're very respectful to her. Right. You yeah. seem like a nice guy. When you hear her telling that story, I know it's what? horrific. I know because it's the fake. So I what? Know. Like, but she, that was back then. Could, that, I has nothing to do with that. But she's done it twice. It's not one time mm -hmm. deal. Listen, I know that was back then. She did it twice. Okay. But, the, but what? So that forward, doesn't cause you concern? That does cause me concern. Yeah. And that's why I say moving forward with her. You know what I'm saying? You can't fake pregnancy. You can't fake. Not with me. <laughs> not with me. Not with me. <laughs> not with me. <laughs> you know what I'm what if she fails? Don't tell me that, Steve. <laughs> Don't tell me that. I mean, then you'd have to reconsider if she, your own if she position. Failed, I don't think, I don't think, nah, there's no way she could fail. But if she did, man, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to No, happen. you know. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I got you. Come on, Steve, don't do me like this, man. <laughs> Come on, man, I'm trying to hold it. We asked Michaela, did you ever break into Tina's home to steal Jonathan's ashes? She answered no. Did you ever attempt to steal Jonathan's ashes from Tina's home? She answered no. The results came back the same to those two questions, and it came back that Michaela told the truth. We go on to ask Michaela about Jonathan's death. We asked her, did you deliberately cause the death of Jonathan? She answered no. Were you involved in the death of Jonathan? She answered no. Did you witness anyone cause the death of Jonathan? She answered no. Did you give him anything laced with fentanyl shortly before his death? She answered no. The results came back all the same, and it came back that Michaela told the truth. You passed the results. You passed the results. I'm sorry, Tina, I really am. And I didn't want to hurt you like that. I really love Jonathan. I got his name tatted on me. And I should have never hurt you like that. I hope you never do this again. No matter what, we all have that little light bulb, that little voice in us says, this is right and that's wrong. Sometimes we'll pick wrong. We'll do wrong. But then we're like, oh my god, I can't do that. I have to fix this. I shouldn't do that. You're missing that little voice. You know, I hope you find it. And with that, you can get the hell off my stage. Like you said, I know you live with a hole in your heart. Uh, that's tough. Uh, the good thing is you have all the children that I'm sure they're gonna give you great comfort moving on. Uh, and I hope you never have to deal with her again. So, thanks for coming. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.